Welcome to another version of Field Phone Ops. Today we're going to discuss the battery substitutions in this P193M switchboard and the TA57 Field Phone. So sit back and we'll talk about it. The battery compartment on the, uh, the P193 switchboard is under the back cover. You can see I have in the picture here that I have. Basically, uh, you take up, loosen that screw on the right, and the entire assembly will flip up to the right, exposing the battery compartment. Okay, the battery that's designed to fit in this compartment is a square battery. There's a picture of it here. Um, I haven't been able to find any of these batteries except this particular website, which is actually in uh, the Soviet, excuse me, Russia. And you can see from the uh, the pictures themselves that when you flip it on end, it's just basically a big square 10 volt battery, and it's got these binding parts, excuse me, these contacts on it. And the one on the uh, the the left is positive, and the one on the right's negative, and they basically fit over and sit down inside the compartment. And then the lids close, and uh, the contacts are spring loaded, so it helps make contact and hold the battery in place. Okay, with the compartment open, we can see these uh, contacts I was referring to. The battery rests down inside here. And each of the contacts of the battery fits on one of these, basically these contact plates within the battery compartment. Both of these are spring-loaded, so if you push down on them with your finger, they'll force back. This is to help keep everything sealed in place. So as far as options for connecting a battery to this, there's basically two ways we can do this. The first way is we can take a 9 volt battery with a battery holder clip system and we can install that in there and we can either clip the alligator clips onto each one of the uh, the contacts shown in here or we can go as far as soldering if you would want to do that solder the actual leads in place I'm not a fan of this I don't like uh, modifying the equipment like this what I ended up doing was I ended up modifying the compartment using some cardboard and some uh, plastic shopping bag so I could actually insert and use the 9 volt battery and it would be held in place and not moved around. And I basically did this by cutting some cardboard. I basically took some cardboard and formed it into a piece that would uh, fit on three sides of the battery as it's shown in here. Then I used the plastic uh, shopping bag that I packed around it to pack it in place so it wouldn't move around. Basically what I succeeded in doing was getting it sealed in there good enough that it wouldn't move around when the, the switchboard was moved around. Then for the final thing I actually took some pieces of plastic and I inserted, cut them and inserted them into the uh, the cover to make the cover tight so when the cover closed it would actually push down the battery onto the spring-loaded contacts and lock everything in place. It actually worked pretty well and I haven't had a problem with it. Lots of times I take my switchboards out to uh, my switchboard out to different uh, uh, collector shows and that and it gets moved around a lot and I've never had a problem with uh, losing contact on uh, the battery instead of like this. I also use the plastic shopping bag instead of using tissue paper because I was worried the tissue paper would get dried out and would possibly become a fire hazard if there's ever a spark in there and also that plastic bag in there will not attract real, any moisture or anything really bad so this was my solution to uh, the problem and how I ended up doing it. Once you get the battery seated good with the plastic bag and the uh, the cardboard and such, go ahead and close the lid and tighten it up. And then uh, I also did some checks with the handset as I was going through the process to make sure that I had side tone and was getting good contact. And this is pretty much it. It's done and it's ready to go. Next we'll go ahead and uh, there's a similar issue we have with a TA57 uh, field phone and we'll talk about that one next. Okay, we'll open up a TA57 field phone and here we go. Open up, there's the battery compartment. You open the cover on it, and it has the same issue as the the 193 switchboard does. It uses that square battery. But in this situation, the battery actually fits sideways inside here, and that spring clip in the back actually holds the battery firm against those forward contacts. S similar solution to the same thing. You have uh, two ways to do it. You can either take alligator clips and a 9-volt battery and clip it onto each one of the little uh, clips shown in there to make contact. Or I've heard of people soldering too. Once again, I'm not a big fan of soldering on this stuff. So what I did was I came up with a way that you could do it similar to the other thing using a 9-volt battery and some plastic shopping bags and actually lock it into place. And it holds well and you don't have to modify the equipment. Go ahead and then you go ahead and pack a uh, shopping bag in there really tight. Place the battery in like this with the uh, positive on the left, if I remember correctly. If not, you can... Uh, 
you just swap it around, try it. I actually put it in and check the handset to see if I have side tone. And then once you get in there good and tight, go ahead and take and pack the other bag around it really tight. I mean, I actually used a screwdriver in a couple of cases to pack it on around it really tight so that the lid would close really tight over the top of it. And like I said, the goal is to get it in there tight so it doesn't shift around and move around so that uh, it stays uh, in place when the phone moves. Also, uh, once again, I used the plastic uh, shopping bag in this instead of tissue paper so it wouldn't dry out and possibly absorb moisture or in worst case scenario, start a fire if anything got touched in to short it together or anything. And there we go. We close the lid and we're ready to go. Notice I tried to get it packed in there and I kept working with it till none of the uh, plastic shopping bag would show. Uh, phone's not ready to go. It's in there good and tight. Um, like I said, this is my solution to this program. And thanks for watching. And if you have any comments, please hit this email address right here. Again, thanks for watching.